Hello there, Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and a new paper crafting video. Today is episode two of my die set of the month for April 2023. Normally it's a stamp set, but I found a super cool die set that I'm in love with from Dare to be Artsy. It's the gift bag and box metal die set. There are 15 dies in the set and you can either make a bag as I showed you in episode one, or you can make a box which I'm about to show you right now in episode two. On the back of the packaging, it gives you the directions to make the box, and on the inside of the packaging, the directions to make the bag. So this is the paper I'm using today from Dare to be Artsy. I'm gonna use that green flowery pattern, and the box itself is going to be this kind of rose, dusty rose color. So the directions tell me I need two base pieces and two side pieces, which I just showed you, but we gotta do some cutting on the ends that have the scallop. So on one side, we're gonna cut off the scallop altogether. Now there is a line there that the die slightly embosses so you can easily follow that line. Then we're gonna cut the corners off at a diagonal and I just cut one off, used the piece that fell off and held it in place to cut off the other corner. Now on the second one, I just folded that scalloped flap down so it's on the outside of the box, but you could also remove it and use this little die to cut a little notch in your box, which is really nice and gives it a finished off look. Let's put it all together now. So I'm gluing the two base pieces together with that, that middle section, and then I'll add on the side pieces so that they are on the portion of the box where I cut the scallops off. And then you can see, actually it's on the portion where I folded the scallops forward, where I, yeah, so it's on the base of the box. And then I am folding on those other longer flaps. I'm not going to put any adhesive on them. They're not gonna be stuck down. They just need to be folded down really well. But on the little flaps, we are going to do some adhesion. So we're gonna use liquid glue and tape, double-sided tape, because this is a box and I just find having both really helps. And also you want to pinch the corners together um, longer than you think you might just to make sure everything is dry and really set. So now I'm doing the same exact thing with the front two smaller tabs and adhering them to the front of the box, that part that has the flap folded forward, that scalloped flap. So I didn't quite hold those together long enough. You're going to see in a in a minute what happens but here's the entire die set again and there are so many other pieces in the set so i'm going to use those to decorate my box i die cut out the scallop square from white and then the perforated square that fits inside of it i die cut from that patterned paper so i can stack those two up and they're going to go on the front of the box and give me a really nice cute little lid now you could just do that but we're gonna put some more things on it for sure. <laughs> I die cut a second, um, just perforated square and added that for a liner on the inside of the box. Now look close at these side panels. These have that gusset that you're gonna fold on if you make a bag, but we're not doing a bag today. So I'm covering it up using the die that creates a long rectangular um, perforated pattern. Yeah, that piece putting it on all four sides of the box, and it just really gives it a finished off look. I love having a box that's solid color with pattern paper over the top. It's just really cute. So there you can see what it looks like, all four sides covered, especially those sides that have the scored lines to make a gusset. We want that to not really be seen. So there's the box and now it's time to do some stamping. We have this new stamp set from the Groovy Collection with the little, Volkswagen type van in it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So I'm gonna ink that up with my Dare to Be Artsy totally black ink. This is one of my favorite black inks because you can use it for so many things, including coloring with your alcohol markers, but you can stamp on almost any other surface and heat set it for it to be permanent. All right, so now it's time to color. I have YG67 to color out my van, but there's some really fine line details on the van, and I did that with my um, darker marker that I showed you there. It's G99, I believe. Um, so it's got a kind of a two-tone look. And then I have this RV32 marker, which is the marker that I felt 
most matched my solid cardstock. So I'm using that and really not any other pink to kind of blend with it. But these images are really small. So you can do blending with just one marker where you color in one area more to really concentrate the color of ink. And so I did that close to the center of the flower with that pink. And once I got out to the edge, I colored one layer. And so it gives me a little bit of a shadow and I really love that. All right, so I'm bringing in my end markers to do some silver, and I actually end up changing the mirrors. There's two side mirrors and a rear view mirror. I end up coloring it in with my G99. And then I already colored the tires, but the darkest color is N6, so I'm showing you that there. And there you can see the completed look. I also colored out the word peace using my Y markers, and I just like that kind of ombre look I did with that. And there is coordinating dyes to die cut these out, and Dare to be Artsy always pre-cuts or the, the dies don't need to be cut out at all. They come to you and you don't have to separate them. And I adore that so much. Okay. I die cut out two extra shapes of the van so I could offset it and give it that look like, I don't, it just reminds me of cartoons in the seventies. Like it, it's like a reverberation. I don't know. I, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I might be crazy. Okay, so I'm gluing that down or adhering it down with some foam squares as well as the word peace there up at the top. I love how that flower kind of looks like the sun at the top. Kind of tried to plan that. When you're die cutting out your pattern paper, you can totally, you know, pick where you want that die to cut. So that's what I did. And now I'm adding some white gel pen highlights to all the stamped and colored images. And it is a really cute image. By the way, there is a pattern paper that matches this die set where you can cut out the van from the pattern paper with the same die that cuts out the stamped image. I just love that, it's so cool. All right, I am covering my van with some glaze so it can be raised up and shiny, as well as the word peace. We gotta let that dry. I came back after letting it sit overnight and look how clear that is. It is so good, but my box. I did not hold the corners together long enough, and so it came apart, so I had to, you know, hold that together a little while longer, but a uh, little glue did the trick. So now I am adding some more of the enamel dots from this um, Feeling Groovy collection from Dare to Be Artsy, just putting those on either side of the van in the three colors that match my box today, the pink and the yellow and the green. And I just love a little accent like that. All right, next I'm going to make a tag to go with this box because there are tags in the die set. And I love that. I made a little collection of tags in video one. So if you missed that episode, it is linked for you in the description box below. And you can check out the Dare to Be Artsy shop in the links below as well. So I stamped out the word groovy using two colors of ink to also give it that ombre effect, even though it's a solid colored stamp. I just inked the edge with the darker color after inking the entire thing with the lighter green. And then I can layer these up on the little tag and add some enamel dots to finish it off. And that's just a really quick and simple tag, but I thought it would be fun to put some hand stamped goodies inside this box. So the person receiving it can use the box, the tag, and the card as a gift in the future and they have something you know special and handmade so next i am die cutting out a piece of this paper to be my card front so i wanted the card like i said to fit in the box so this card actually measures three and three fourths by three and three fourths because a four by four card is a little too big to fit in this box which is four by four inches so i'm putting a vellum square over the top of that using that perforated square die and some vellum adhesive which disappears when you press down on it and then i'm doing that same kind of halfway inking it up technique with the word hippie i'm going to stamp the flowers from this set and some more sentiments so that this card will say think hippie thoughts <laughs> So cute. I colored these out just like I did when I colored out the flowers on the van and I'm going to die cut out all the things. There's even a die for the word hippie. And then I also am going to just cut around the other parts of the sentiment with my paper trimmer. And then we're going to put things together with this pink heart. That pink heart is also from the die set. And I love that it has it actually has three hearts, this large one, a small one, and one even bigger that this heart can sit on that's scalloped. And I used that a bunch of times in my previous video, so make sure you check that out. And there's also stars, which I have yet to use, but 
there will be an episode three, so make sure you tune back in because I'm gonna show you some alternate ways to use this die set next week on episode three. So it'll be Thursday at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So make sure you check back. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel because I have paper crafting videos just like this for you all the time. All right, so I um, put everything together, kind of puzzle pieced it, and now I am sticking this down with some foam squares and popping up the word hippie on top of that as well. I wanted to finish it off with some more enamel dots. This just made it, I think, really made the card to have the little enamel dots there. And I think it's fun to mix and match the colors instead of just doing one. It really adds to that kind of hippie feel of these projects and I had to go with um, a hippie style that kind of meets my style some of the colors um, or the super busyness is not my thing but what I do love is once I inked this and then I put the glaze on top of it it kind of gave me the feel of like a vintage t-shirt and I love the glaze on these images too because uh, when I think of style and things from the 70s, I don't know why, but I think of those like people wearing big giant pins, you know, those round pins that kind of have the plastic cover and the glaze on these reminds me of that. So I was born in the 70s, so I did live through half of it little more than half of it. And uh, I just think that this is a really fun and different collection. And so I had to make some groovy themed projects with this box today. But check out the die set because isn't it fabulous that you can make so many things with one die, a bag and a box and all the tags and all the little other dies they have with it. So much bang for your buck. So I will have it linked for you below and I'll be back again before next Thursday even with more videos for you. So stay tuned and I'll see you on the next one. Happy stamping. Bye.